what is up guys it's been so long I'm so happy to be back doing another flight vlog for you I got some big news for you I finally did it I got my CFI I am now a certified flight instructor this is great now I can start building my hours quicker and sharing my passion for aviation with others today's flight is kind of fun a lot of change of plans going on so I'm trying to keep up with them and be ready for whatever people throw at me. Today I've got a flight from our home base when we're flying over to Michigan to check out our lake house. Make sure that it's doing okay in the winter, that we don't have any pipes burst or anything like that. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, thank you so much. I just broke 200 subscribers, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I know all the other YouTubers are like, other people say, oh I can't believe I got here and, and I really can't believe I got 200 subscribers so let's keep up the good work and I'll keep the flight vlogs coming now. I have a little bit more free time since all my flight training is pretty much over now for almost the next two years until I get on with the airlines once I get my 1500 hours. I'm going to try and keep putting out these flight vlogs. I really enjoy making them and sharing it with people. I like interacting with people when they ask me questions in the comment section. All right, so let's do it. Today's weather is VFR, not the best VFR. I wish the clouds were a little bit higher. You can see out west they're not so bad at the moment. Um, as we head further east, we're in the Chicagoland area where I am and I'm headed east to Michigan. The clouds lower a little bit, it's not great sunny weather. Today's challenge is gonna be traffic, I think. The This is the first day of the year, 2016, that the weather is good enough to really bring out like the VFR pilots. The, the runways are clear, it's not super cold, so we need to be on the lookout for traffic as we're flying around today. Coming up on my exit here, so I'll check back in once we're at the airport. The joys of flying in winter, we just pulled up to the airport and all the taxiway is snow. I know the runway's clear, we just saw some planes taking off and I just pulled up to the runway so I know we're clear there, it's just, we gotta just take it real slow if we're gonna taxi up on this, hopefully they'll clear it before we take off. Alright. Gotta get some stuff out, make sure we got all our documents. I got my headset. Don't need my log book. I do need my iPad, that's that's a must. And then for my iPad, I've got the Garmin Glow. It sends the GPS signal very accurate. Accurate up to one meter. I don't need any of those documents or anything like that, so we are good. I'm just setting up the airplane here, putting in my headset, getting all the GPS's set up. I got a nice little convenient GoPro mount right here, right beneath the trim tab here. Making sure we're set, get that altimeter set to field elevation. Just gotta plug second set of headset in. Time to do the pre-flight. One crazy thing about flying in the winter here so you always gotta pack extra clothes. I don't like to think that I'll be going down anytime soon, but if I do, I'd really like to not be stuck in freezing cold weather without a coat, hats, and gloves. So we're being we're being cautious here. We gotta be cautious every time we fly. Just waiting on my dad to show up, and then we'll be off on our way. You gotta we gotta be careful taxiing in this. All right, just picked up my dad. They're hanging out back there. Yeah, got the Priuses in the in the hangar. Should be a beautiful day out today. I'm about to get them all wrapped up in the airplane and then I'll start filming with the GoPro here. I got brought the audio cord so we can hear, but gotta pay attention. Flying's number one, aviate, navigate, communicate, then film. So, okay, happy flying. Just making it through all the crazy Chicagoland airspace here. We're cruising around at about 1,700 feet, 1,800 feet here, just below the Class Charlie. In a minute here, I'm going to call up Gary, Gary, Indiana, their tower. I'm going to request permission through the north part of the airspace. 
as we're following the uh, shoreline around. Then as soon as we're out of this class, Charlie, we can shoot up to a higher altitude as flying around the lake, I'm going to want to be a little bit higher, just ah. in case anything happens, gives us more time in the air and a uh, better gliding distance. I'm going to find out how far are we out from Midway. Or Gary, we're still a couple miles out, I'm going to wait till I call him at 10 miles. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call Gary Tower. Just watch your altitude. Good afternoon, Gary Tower. This is Cherokee 1376 Tango. We're about 10 miles to the west. We'd like to transition to the north part of your airspace. Uh, we're following the lake around. Yeah, Cherokee calling Gary Tower. Is it uh, 135 Sierra Tango? The identifier is November 1376 Tango. Cherokee 1376 Tango, Gary Tower, transition approved, the altimeter here 3020. 3020, transition approved, thank you, Cherokee Tango. Alright, so what I want to do now, I want us to climb up to about 2,200 2, feet. 2,200? 2,200 feet. Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry, we didn't film the takeoff in the beginning portion of this flight just because the Chicagoland area is a little crazy, a little hectic with the altitudes and all the airspace restrictions. So right now we're flying... Yeah, traffic cap 1147, system 172, turning left bay for a full stop, runway 20, yeah. Right now we're just flying around. Bolt County, November 64301. Turning the volume down. Right now we're just following the lake around here. And we're making our way to the Michigan City Regional Airport. So we're going to start briefing the approach how we're going to get in there. So one of the things we got to think about is what runway we're using. Let's get the weather information there, make sure no unknown notams or anything like that. Let's check it out. Michigan City Municipal Airport, Phillips Field, automated weather observation. One, seven, one, eight, Zulu. Okay, two yes. minutes ago. Calm, visibility, one, zero. Good. Clear, below, one, two, thousand. Good. Temperature, minus two Celsius. Dew point, minus eight altimeter, three, zero, one, eight. Zero, one, eight. All right, so winds are calm, so what we're going to do is we're going to land runway 02. We're going to make a left base for runway 02. What that'll do, that'll set us up. That's the calm wind preferred runway. That'll take us just about over Michigan City, so we'll check back in with you guys when we're on base. Yeah, so we're on extended left base. we got to lose about another 700 feet here. Our pre-landing check is complete. I don't want to shock cool the engine on a nice crisp winter day like today. So we're just going to take it in nice and slow. I'm just pulling it back about a thousand RPM about every 30 seconds. So I don't completely shock cool the engine. And we're on a, on a extended left base for runway 2 right now. Alright, so we're at pattern altitude right here. I'm going to go ahead and just hold this for a minute. Just until we get a little bit closer here. This will help us bleed off some of the airspeed so we get in the white arc so we can put our first notch of flaps in. Alright, here we go. I'm pulling it back to about 1800 RPMs. The letter descent. We're in the white arc. I'm going to put first notch of flaps. I'm going to trim this out here so a nice stabilized approach. I got the runway in sight. Michigan City traffic, Turkey 76 Tango, left base, runway 2, Michigan City. We're about 100 miles an hour, that's good, 1400 feet. Let's light it up in case we got some people on the runway. That's a little bit more visible, second notch of flaps. I believe there is a displace place threshold on this run right here. Michigan City traffic, Cherokee 76 Tango is turning final runway to Michigan City. We're a little high, so I threw in the last notch of flaps here. But we're coming around. Get some up trim here. Stabilize the approach out a little bit. This plane with full flaps, she sinks, so we're going to sink right onto that glide path. 
keeping about 80 on final here, and then once we get over the numbers, we can pull it back a little bit slower here. Too bad, not too bad. Nice landing. Hey. I was a little nervous going up for since it's been a month. <laughs> Gonna stop here, make sure we're all clear of the runway. Just clean us up here. Alright, we're good. All right, so we made it to Michigan, just checking in, getting a courtesy car, maybe grabbing some lunch. Woo, this is an easy flight. Took a little bit longer than expected, but got a cool plane flying over right now. Is it? All right, guys, we're back. I got my aunt and uncle. We picked them up in New Buffalo, Michigan. Hello. Cheers. <laughs> and we're just gonna take them up real quick around New Buffalo, and then, pick my dad back up and then we fly back to Chicago so I'm not gonna film this portion of the flight because it's first time in an airplane I want to focus on that and make sure he doesn't get sick or anything but he'll be fine well, all right we just landed got back with my aunt and uncle took him flying really enjoyed it love sharing aviation with people just gas the plane up eat a quick subway sandwich then I'll be on my way home here Hopefully, good flight back. We're gonna cut off a little bit more of the lake this time, get back a little quicker. All right, bye. Okay, so we just made it back to Schaumburg Airport. Didn't film, it was just focused just getting home. Uh, just wanted to be safe and everything, flying over the lake, cut it off, cut the bottom half off. Um, now my buddy Randy there, he's going up. And then that's about it, and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, what an awesome flight. It was such a beautiful day out to fly. You couldn't ask for a better, well, you could ask for a better day. I wish it was about 70 degrees outside, that'd be awesome, with still a density altitude of negative 1,500 feet. That would be gorgeous. But I don't think that's gonna happen with a outside air temperature of 70, so. Right now I'm driving on my way home. Maybe I might turn this into like an all day kind of vlog and just see what it's like to be a day in a flight instructor's position or a, a private pilot to see what it's like see my debrief and everything well, that was kind of crazy I just saw my friend uh, gassing up I had to slam on the brakes to get into the uh, gas station there good old electronic electromagnetic brakes I got in this car pulling into my parents new place here no brook Gosh, what a fun day it was. This part of my parents' new place is this. You gotta, it's kinda hard to do this all one-handed. Oh, wrong card. We've got keyless entry to the garage. Gorgeous garage, a lot of nice cars in here, man. A lot of nice cars, you got that red Jag sitting over there. All right, just finished packing everything up. Get it closed up here. There we go. So overall, very successful flight. I think it all worked out really well. Um, comment down below if you want to see anything else during my flights, if you want to see the debriefing or, or any of the flight planning. There wasn't too much to plan on that flight. It was a little quick notice. I wasn't expecting to go to Michigan today, but you gotta be ready for anything when you're, when you're flying airplanes as much as I do. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'm hoping to get a lot more back into vlogs and stuff. So thanks.